I, uh, I actually took up some of these issues earlier in the day with the former Resources Minister, Keith Bitt. Here's what he had to say. We, we are the biggest contributor uh, into the Pacific. We're the big, biggest Pacific island, but very important partners with all of our friends. Uh, but what we find is a Prime Minister spending a lot of time on red carpets and those red carpets usually lead to the exit. The Australian people show you the door. But on climate, we're a 1% contributor. Uh, and how do those people in the Pacific think that foreign aid is provided? It's provided through the resources sector and its success in Australia and the royalties and taxes that it pays. Yes, yeah, spot on. If the Pacific Island nations want to continue getting help from Australia, and I believe they should, they need the Australian economy to be strong and, and, and resilient. And there's just this ridiculous pretense of pretending that what we do on the climate will change things for them. As you say, we're 1% of global emissions. Their big friends up north, China, are producing more than a quarter of all global greenhouse gas emissions and rising. So they really ought to be shaking their fists at China. And China is putting in over 300 gigawatts of extra coal-fired power plants. And guess what? They burn thermal coal. Uh, and from memory, they use more than a billion tonnes of coal a year. Uh, that's an enormous amount, mostly from Mongolia and places like that. Australia's contribution in, into that area for uh, thermal coal in particular is really not that large by comparison. Uh, and for those individuals in the Pacific, and I understand their challenges, uh, to demand that Australia restructures it, its economy uh, on the basis that will make no difference whatsoever to the climate. Well, I think that's just a ludic ludicrous proposition. Uh, it's really asking for more handouts. And, of course, generally, they want to have free reign on that money and where it goes. Yeah, well, this is the problem, right? It doesn't do Australia any good to sort of uh, pretend that uh, we can save the planet. It's demeaning, really, for a Prime Minister to pretend that our 1% and shrinking emissions can change the global climate. But also, he's just giving in to this pressure from the Pacific Islands. Don't we have to actually have a more adult, a more rational, a more frank discussion with them about what we can do to help them with their economies, with their law and order, with their education and their health, and, and stop pretending it's all about climate change? Well, who would have thought that facts would become so invaluable for the Australian government? Uh, we, we should make decisions based on facts. And every time, Chris, that there's an emergency in the Pacific and you see aid that's been handed out, it's got the big red kangaroo on it because we, we know our responsibilities into those areas. Uh, we've always supported uh, the Pacific and its people will continue to do that. Uh, but the idea that billions should be provided as climate reparations uh, for an outcome that will make no difference whatsoever to the temperature of the globe. Uh, I just think that's folly. It's fraught with danger and it shouldn't be the reason for decisions on foreign aid and investment into the Pacific.